Hey everybody, how you doing today? My name is Austin Overfield and thanks for viewing my new YouTube channel. So, a little bit about myself. I'm a student artist and illustrator transitioning to the role of a professional and I was just thinking, uh, what's the best way that I can uh, spread my art to a wider audience and get more people to view what I'm working on? So I decided to make this YouTube channel where I show my art, show my process, and uh, just talk about, you know, different issues that artists face and whatever comes to mind, really. So, a little bit more about myself. Like I said, my name is Austin Overfield, and uh, I really uh, love the mediums of cartoons and comics and general illustration. Some of my favorite artists include, you know, like, the classic uh, illustrators. I love Norman Rockwell, and I love J.C. Decker. But uh, I've always had a deep love for like the um, kind of like edgy, surreal, like underground comics. Like one of my favorite artists that I uh, was really admiring when I first started is Robert Crumb, and I just love uh, his technique and his subject matter, and I think all that stuff is really cool. I really like Jack Davis also, and just. Uh, trying to push my work more towards like kind of the silly crazy shapes and caricatures and stuff so yeah so today I'm gonna talk a little bit about the reason that we make things as artists which I always thought was a really uh, interesting question because it's not really like apparently clear the reason that we do what we do I mean if you're an artist also then probably doesn't need any explanation but if you're not an artist that's uh, pretty common question, so I uh, think that, you know, there's a lot of different answers to that question, and it really depends on who you ask. I'm sure there's probably different uh, answers for each artist that you would ask, but for me, I think I've distilled it down to a few uh, pretty simple concepts on why we do what we do, and uh, I'd say the very first one, and the one that really comes to mind for most people when they think of why does an artist create things is to express ourselves which I really agree with you know because um like I said I was a big fan of uh, Robert Crumb and I still am and you can really see in his work that he like puts a lot of emotion into his drawings and it's very expressive and he's really trying to express how he's feeling or how the other people around him are feeling which I find fascinating and even if you look at some of the old uh, masters, like Vincent Van Gogh was an obvious example. He uh, he really put a lot of uh, his emotion into his work, and in, in terms of like his technique and how you end up viewing the paintings. And Pablo Picasso had his blue period, and it's just yeah, you can really express yourself a lot with uh, artwork, which I think is really cool. So, and then. In like a little subcategory of expression is, uh, you know, we like to make a statement and kind of talk about how we think of things and what we believe about certain things. Like, uh, you see that a lot in modern illustration, the way that uh, two things will kind of be juxtaposed against each other to uh, make it have like a different message or whatever, so... Some obvious examples that come to mind is like when you see, um an illustration of a, uh, you know, in the 1950s on a train, everybody's looking at a newspaper, and then it's like today, and everybody's looking at their cell phones, and stuff kind of like that. I saw a cool illustration once where uh, it was like a fishing hook inside of a uh, beer bottle that was uh, commenting about alcoholism, I believe. And yeah, I think that art and illustration is really one of the best ways to... Uh, tell a story and it's really the only way to tell a story visually which I think first of all it transcends language barriers which is really cool and you can uh, you can kind of subliminally talk about things without you know really uh, exp like uh, directly talking about them or I, I don't really know the word but yeah, I think that the, you know, making a statement and expressing ourselves is really important for a lot of artists. Another thing, which kind of goes into the same uh, category, is, you know, we like to make uh, 
make a statement about social issues that are going on. For instance, uh, like the pipelines that are being built across the country and all that kind of stuff, you know, there's all, I'm not trying to get political or anything, but a lot of artists really like to, like, uh, make a statement about what they believe to be right or wrong using their artwork. And we've all seen stuff like that, so there's no need for any more uh, obvious examples. Another thing that I think artists really love to do is uh, we want to push ourselves and really push our ability to, like, put things together conceptually and, like, making a making a statement with our concepts as well as uh, pushing ourselves and our rendering ability and just how good or how uh, bad we draw or paint. I know that I'm definitely like that. I always want to improve what I'm doing. So, yeah. So far it's uh, expression and to uh, make statements and to push yourself and then Another reason I think that we do this is, uh, if you're anything like me, you kind of want to leave something behind in, you know, the future after you retire and after you're gone. You want to leave something behind for the world to enjoy that you've made. At least, uh, that's what, part of the reason that I like to do it. So, um, yeah. Really, it's about expressing yourself and, um pushing yourself and pushing your boundaries on like, you know, I know there's some pieces that I make and I've made recently that four or five years ago I never could have been able to make that, so that's part of the reason that I go on this journey is I want to see where I can end up if I really do the best I can possibly do. And uh, ultimately asking why does an artist make things is kind of like asking you know why does a soccer player kick a ball and why does a boxer throw a punch we really feel compelled to do it i think at least i do you know there was nobody who was ever like suggested to me you should do more artwork in fact a lot of the times it was kind of the opposite they'd saying you know you should do less artwork and do something else but um you know as an artist we just kind of have to do the best we can, and we really just need to, like, uh, follow what our heart is telling us to do, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's basically about expression, about making a statement, to, to push yourself and see where you can end up if you do your best, and uh, leaving something behind that other people can be like, okay, this person existed, you a hundred years ago or whatever, but yeah, I like their artwork and, you know, it's not like a, um, like an ego thing where I want to be, like, big and famous in the next century. It's really nothing like that. I just want there to be, you know, proof that I existed after I'm gone. And I think a lot of other artists kind of feel the same way, if they're being honest. But yeah, it's kind of just just something that we feel compelled to do and it's kind of a uh, like I said in the beginning it's kind of a nebulous thing it's really hard to give a solid answer onto that so but in my opinion it's really about um, expressing yourselves making a statement and talking about social things that are going on you know and trying to push yourself in terms of your conceptual abilities and your rendering abilities and leaving something behind after you're gone. And, uh, yeah. I think I heard somebody say in some kind of humanities class I took one time that really the first people that, um, push change in a society are the artists because, you know, we're kind of out here on the fringes and that really kind of, in a way, it's, it's not as good, but in a way it kind of gives us the freedom to, uh, explore things that other people wouldn't be able to explore as easily not to mention we uh you know build our skills to be able to um solidify those things you know if you're a writer you write about them if you're a visual artist like myself you draw or paint them if you're a musician you write music about it so yeah there's i mean like i said earlier there could be 
as many people as you ask would probably give you a different reason as to why they make artwork, but I feel that a lot of the times it kind of falls into those categories. So in recap, I basically feel that it's about expressing yourself and trying to improve your skills as an artist, but one thing I forgot to mention is uh, through learning how to draw and paint, you can learn an incredible amount about the natural world. Uh, I've learned a lot about anatomy and engineering just by trying to draw and paint those things correctly. So yeah, again, my name is Austin Overfield. If you like what you've seen here today, you can uh, like and subscribe to uh, get notified when more videos come out. You know, I'll probably put out a lot more stuff kind of like this where I make a time lapse and just kind of talk about whatever I'm thinking. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, those will be linked in the description below. So you can check those out if you feel like supporting me. You could buy a t-shirt or something off of my Teespring store. That would be so helpful. And uh, yeah, why don't you leave a comment below talking about, you know, why you'd like to make things as an artist or why you feel that artists like to make things. I'd really be interested in hearing your opinion. Thanks a lot, guys.